Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long road. Um, frustrating. Deborah Archer could finally breathe for the first time in three years. That was her reaction last fall when the Nebraska Supreme Court ruled her drug case should be thrown out. It's been a struggle, but uh, we're hanging in there and I'm just thrilled that uh, we got the decision that we got from the Supreme Court. The so-called controlled substance in question, cannabidiol, derived from hemp found in CBD products. Archer sold them in her store, DJ Vapes, on Main Street in Herman, Nebraska. They just flat out chased after her for whatever reason. Archer became familiar with the Washington County Courthouse here in Blair as different judges dismissed her case three times. The county attorney kept refiling and eventually appealed to the Nebraska Supreme Court where last September Archer had her final day in court. But she never wanted to give up, did she? No. Why not? Because she knew she wasn't wrong. Just the whole thing has been very stressful to me and devastating to my life. While Archer refused to back down in court, she had another battle on her hands. All well, her kidneys quit on her. Archer told me she had been managing her kidney disease until the stress of the CBD controversy. I've developed a kidney failure, so I'm currently on dialysis and waiting for a kidney transplant. And I've been on dialysis for about a year and a half now. Things started to turn around for Archer. She received a kidney transplant two months after the Supreme Court ruling. Her husband, Stephen, says she was improving daily until late December when she became infected with COVID-19. And ended up with the COVID along with everything else. And eventually, I think that's what done her in. I got to be there with her. on her last moments. Deborah Archer was 54 years old. She died knowing she'd at least won her court battle. So all in all, it's a, finally a good day in Herman. Yes, definitely. So everybody needs to come out and celebrate with us. In Herman, Michelle Bandur, KETV Newswatch 7. We've been asking Nebraska Attorney General Doug Peterson about the legality of CBD for the past three years, and we reached out again today we never received any clarification.